Hey, hey, this, no, thank you need you, to yeah, get out. You. I'm sorry, it is a federal out. law. Who are get you? Out. It is not a federal law. Have you ever read your poster seven? Would you like to go we look at it together? We don't care what you think about the rules. You we know the rules. You don't care out. about the postal rules? Employee. Get out. Let's go take a look at you poster seven. Get out. Leave. You, you want to take a look at the rules? Postal yes, I can. No, you cannot. I'm going to advise the three of you right now that if you make me leave this post office, you're violating my constitutional rights and you're also violating the law. Okay. And I will very adamantly pursue that and I have a very huge network of defense attorneys and people behind me so I just want to make you aware of that before okay. that happens. That's your right, that's fine. Okay. Do you have your IDs on you? What would you need ID for? I need to identify who I'm talking to. I was called here lawfully to talk to you. Do you suspect me of committing a crime or having committed a crime? You're trespassing, sir. I'm not trespassing. You are. Have you asked me, have you asked me to leave? I'm about If you to. ask me to leave and I refuse to leave then I'm trespassing. Okay, I'm asking you to leave. You're asking me to leave in full knowledge that you're violating my constitutional rights. They've asked you to leave. Let's see what the sergeant Here's kind of the deal. Okay. They don't want you here. I understand that. We're trespassing you on the behalf of... You're going to trespass me? The post I office. want you to speak to your lieutenant before you do that. Okay. You're, I'm, I'm going to file a lawsuit against you if you trespass me. I That's promise fine. you. That's fine. That's fine. And I'm going to name you personally and you're going to lose your qualified immunity because you're violating my rights. That's Are you fine. sure? You're going to pay they, for this personally. That's fine. You really think it's fine? I'm going to sue you. The post office does not want you in here. What's going on, everybody? Watching the Watchman here, out with Amagansett Press, here in Silverthorne, Colorado at the uh, Silverthorne Post Office. And uh, we're gonna take a look around, go inside, and see if they respect our First Amendment right to take video inside of a public building. So, uh, as always, if you like this video and what we do, Make sure you subscribe to my channel, Namagansett Press's channel on YouTube. And uh, you can follow my Twitter and Instagram if you want to be notified the day before we post. I'm out with watching The Watchmen today. And uh, I think we're ready to go inside and take a look. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that for yourself? You're taking selfies or, or what? No, I'm not selfies. I'm not selfies. No selfies. So, uh, post office box area. Looked like there was something around this corner, but there's not. Nothing over there? No. So this building, dedicated to public service in 1999, William Clinton, President of the United States, William J. Henderson, Postmaster General. Here we have our poster seven. I think you're all familiar with that. This is actually dated 1998, so it's a very old copy. Some uh, bigger boxes over here. Oh, we're just checking first time we've ever been in Silverthorne. Oh, we're just checking okay, out checking it out. Oh, okay. yeah. You live here? Uh, yeah, I don't really have a place. I just kind of camp around. It's a. This, I think this is a very cool place to camp it's around. Like the rents, man. The rents are. You know what? I was wondering how, what is the rent Dude, situation? I work at Taco Bell. I make fifteen fifty an hour. Some people I work with are paying sixteen hundred, eighteen hundred. One lady was paying thirty two hundred a month. Thirty two hundred a, a month. month. Sixteen hundred, eighteen hundred is what? Like a one bedroom? Yeah, or a studio. It's really terrible. And now I, it, like, I you know pay it's thirteen hundred for like half a room. And I know it's seasonal up here, so is that like year round or is that? Uh, if you can find, you know, something year round, it's expensive. But most people work at the resorts like Vail, right. like Keystone or Breck, but then like April, you gotta leave. Gotcha. 
That's gotcha. what I did when I came out here, and then I left, and I ain't had a place since. Well, well, keep your chin up, keep smiling. Thank we'll you. say a little prayer for you. Thank you. Well, Bless store. you and have a I wonderful have a storage thing. unit. But <laughs> Take it. Make sure you pay that. Yeah, I do. Have a good one. You too. So we got some uh, notices up on, I guess, a community bulletin board here. time and temperature check for you. Today is Saturday, February 22nd, and it is 11.16 a.m. How are you? Good. Um, it is, let's see, 40 degrees in Silver Bar, Colorado. The line out the door today. View out the window here. picture taking allowed in here sorry put those cameras down you're not allowed to take any pictures in the post office I'm not taking pictures okay well aim them the other way or something have you ever read your poster seven I don't care you don't care get about the rules cameras. of the post get rid office of those cameras now sir just calm get down and I'll talk to you when I get up to the front or leave Hey guys, we don't want to be on the Get rid of the cameras. You, do you see what you just here. created? No, you didn't create anything. You guys created it by bringing so the cameras. Nobody the said a word stoppers. until he no, decided to start. Hey, I was I waiting for him because he's got the authority out. here, so please. The out. authority is leave on the now. wall. Leave now. Listen, stop yelling. Leave. No, I'm not leave leaving. Leave with those cameras. I need to buy now. a stamp. I'm not leaving. Hey, Liam, call the cops. There you go. Awesome. I just want my package. You're out of here. Please just, like, you guys are out of here. Out. Okay. Like, you're causing all this for everyone now by not turning the I'm just off. traveling through Silverthorne with my son documenting yep. a trip. And you're out of here. Okay. You are we'll out of here. We'll see about that when the cops you're here. You're out of the post office. Okay. There are no cameras allowed in the post you, you office. You don't have my permission to Yeah, do you don't have mine either. Oh, so the rules, you to leave. the federal rules for a post office are posted on the wall in the next room. You can, anybody's invited to go read them. Hit the road. I'll speak to the police when we get here, sir. Okay. 
I'm sorry you're so upset with your life. We're not upset with Hit our life. Hit the road. None of us want to be fun. I wasn't speaking to you, man. You're be pathetic. gone. You're rude. You're pathetic. You are really yeah, rude. Hey, this, no. Thank you. You need yeah, to get out. You. I'm sorry, it is a federal oh. law. Who are Get you? Out. It is not a federal law. Have you ever read your Poster 7? Would you like to go we look at it together? We don't care what you think about the rules. We you know the rules. You don't care about the rules? Get out. Let's go take a look you at Poster 7. Leave. You, you want to take a look at the rules? You postal employee. Yes, I can. No, you cannot. All right, well, then I'll stay okay. here. and You can call the cops and do whatever you got to do. This is how pathetic the world's getting. You Stick around and you'll see the cops tell me I'm right. Oh, it's nope. that's what you want no, to try to do? You no, I'm right. just. You don't, don't have the right to. I, 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 don't care I am to the be. authority. Whatever you read on the wall doesn't matter. Wow, really? The, yes, no, exactly. you're not the authority yeah. in this office, sir. The it's Constitution of the United States is the authority in this office. Provided that there is no disruption to postal service operations, which you have now created. Huh. No, I didn't create any disruptions. Get you guys out of here, dude. Okay. Hey, dude, get out of here. Thank you. I think you've been living up in the mountains too long, my man. Oh, dude, I don't even live here. Well, then stop talking to me. I hope I. God. What do you care hey, about? I don't want to be on there. Well, so I don't. I don't. I don't, here, I'll let the, the cops know I don't, I don't want people to yell at me when I'm in line at Nobody's the post yelling. office to get he a stand. He asked you politely okay. to switch that off and turn it around. Didn't he ask you politely? See, I like this guy. He's just thinking, taking it all in. Maybe that's what you should How do. How about this? Want to film that one? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Do you want to do it again? Wow. And at this point, I'll ask everyone to stop speaking to me so you can just oh, carry you have the right on with your that? business. If you have a right to that, I have, I have right the right ask. not to be on your camera. I have a right to ask. And I have the right to ask you to switch that You're thing You're in a off. public place, sir. So you have a public place, so I can talk to you. Of course you can. Yeah, but you just if ask you not to talk to. to you. And I can film if I choose to. Dumbass. Well, there you go. Okay. I'm just going to grab a box over here. Yeah, sure. Man. Go ahead. You realize the post office is filming you right over your head, right? Did they ask your permission? Didn't think so. You want extra services on there? Size one. Actually, guy tried to rent size one earlier, and 
waiting lists only. So those are like oh, yeah, this wide, yeah, I, you know, they're narrow. Yeah. These are more square. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's the common one to go with? Well, today you'd have to go with this if you really okay. want to get a box today. Yeah. Because like we're, that. we don't have those okay. right now. I can update later if I want to. You'll, you'll be changing your address. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Will this fit in that? No. Okay, so can we go with this? Or I'm just saying. This will this will fit in a size um, two, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, is there a, a price different or? Uh, oh yeah. Okay. What's it? Because they said if I have an address, I get a I get one for. That would be that one. Kestrel Lane. Yeah, three or four people in the back calling the police, but none of them come up to help the route, customers. So, so, yeah. Line out the door. You can. That's interesting. Yeah, you can go to the Dillon and talk to the guys in the uh, in on the route, the oh, route yeah. guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you can go to Dillon and talk to them. Well, let's get the small one in for right now, and then I'll. Okay, you mean size two? Yeah, size two. Okay. Sorry. Let me get in. Grab myself. How yeah. much are the boxes? This is 130 for a year. Okay. This is 92 for a year. Okay. But it's a waiting list. So. Okay, yeah, that's fine. You get it? Hey. Liam. Yeah. Do you know uh, Dylan's number? I got to find out if Tesco Lane's a multi-class. Okay. Put it while we got a size. There you go. Um, so, hey guys, how are you? Good, how are you doing today? Good, good. Hey, what's going on with the cameras? I'm Officer Ernest with the Silver Throne Police Department. Hey, we're glad here so we can talk yeah, about disturb absolutely. all these folks. That would be awesome yeah, if we could, actually. Thank you. What do you I'm going to get my place back in line when I go back in, right? Yeah, we'll so talk how about are you? Can I get your name and badge on the show? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, Jake Ernest, and uh, badge number 28. Thank you very much. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. So, have you ever, their issue is with us filming in uh -huh. here. Are you familiar with the postal rules and regulations? So, I, I spoke with them. They're telling me the, the post office employees are saying they don't permit filming. Right. So, let's, main area. there's something called, I'll show you over here. Uh -huh. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. So, they have something called Poster 7, okay, which is the rules and regulations of the post office okay. governing conduct on postal property. Sure. Okay, uh, there is a section for photographs for news, advertising, or commercial purposes, mm -hmm. which allows us to take photographs inside of the post office as long as we are not in a restricted area. Okay. As long as we're in a publicly accessible area. we actually area. go outside so we're not restricting them getting in? Yeah, let's now. go right over here. Oh, that's fine. Clear. So that's all we're doing. I'm actually, we're traveling through Silverthorne. Yeah. Um, I'm in line to buy a stamp. Okay. That's all I was doing. And uh, we're just documenting our trip. Okay. Well, they've asked you to turn the cameras off. And it's but that's not the law. Okay. That's that's just their feelings and their request. So I'm going to respectfully deny that request and go by federal law. But they're the employees here. The manager is asking. Well, they could say that nobody's allowed in with gray tennis sneakers on, and right. that's not. And the rules can, are posted and on and the they wall. They can sir. do that. I understand. And I just want to make you aware. I'm going to advise the three of you right now that if you make me leave this post office, you're violating my constitutional rights, and you're also violating the law. Okay. And I will very adamantly pursue that, and I have a very huge network of defense attorneys and people behind me. So I just want to make you aware of that before okay. that happens. That's your right. That's fine. Okay. Do you have your IDs on you? What would you need ID for? I need to identify who I'm talking to. I was called here lawfully to talk to you. Do you, do you suspect me of committing a crime or having committed a crime? You're trespassing, sir. I'm not trespassing. You are. Have you, you, asked, me, have you asked me to leave? I'm about If you to. ask me to leave and I refuse to leave, then I'm trespassing. Okay, I'm asking you to leave. You're asking me to leave in full knowledge that you're violating my constitutional rights. They've asked you to leave. Have you read the law on the wall? I Would you like to at least, can we I look at that first? I understand like, what's written on the, on the you don't, wall. You didn't even read it. But the How do you understand? Have asked you, to leave, okay? you haven't looked at what's on the wall. Does anybody want to take a look at the rules? And, you have the federal law right there. You won't look at it? You guys have anything better to do? Go help the population or something. No, I won't. Standing up for your rights, man. Here, stand over here so we're not okay. blocking that. I just want to hear, I just want to point out to you, it's the photo photographs. So, right here. So, right here. Yeah. so, since you guys aren't doing it for news purposes. I am a member of the press. Oh, they are. Then I am doing it for news purposes. Then identify yourself. I'm working on a story and it will be disseminated. I will not identify myself or tell you what my story is about. Because okay, we're that asking would, you to leave. 
I would request a sergeant then, if that's the case. I now, am be, a sergeant. You're a sergeant? That's what yeah. the stripes on our shoulder. Have you read the rules and regulations of the post office that authorize you know me to take video inside this building? There. I also asking. have a DHS memo in my car. Why don't you let me finish? Look, because you're giving I'm me bad information you. and you're violating my rights. I'm not interrupting you. Okay, go ahead. How am I violating your rights? By asking me to leave somewhere I have every legal right to be. Not only do I have a legal right to be here, I have a constitutionally protected... This is a constitutionally protected activity and you're about to violate that. You might want to call a lieutenant. Seriously. Okay. I don't want to have to sue Silverthorne. I want to avoid that. And you will be on the hook the for a massive... The federal post office has asked us to ask you to leave. You're not federal so police. Why don't you call the federal police? You have no jurisdiction in this building. No, it's in the town of Silverthorne. It doesn't make a difference. You need to call federal police. And federal police will tell you that I have every right to do what I'm doing. I promise you. you. I've done this thousands of times, your, Mary. I have no idea who you're speaking with. What I'm more educated motive? on the law than you are. What when is it comes your to motive? This, this is what I do. Just cause harassment and No, counts? not cause it. Once you tell me I'm allowed to be here and you acknowledge my right and stop trying to throw me out of here, I'll explain to you exactly what I'm doing. What do you In doing? great detail. Well, are you going to let me stay? If, no, you, if, you, if you honor the law and you honor the Constitution of the United States and you honor federal law and federal policy, which is right on the wall, I will be happy to, in detail, explain to you what I'm doing. If why you want to violate my you, rights, I'm not going to explain you myself to you. Is that that the, 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 the policy of the post office is not what people think? That is not true. That is not true. And the lady was saying that uh, it's a pretty exposed mailing room. That is absolutely not the truth. She's incorrect, and I understand that people can be incorrect, but I am, I am an expert at what I'm doing. I may not know the law in other areas, but I'm very good at what I do. Okay, that's fine. And ma'am, I'm not, I'm sorry, is it Sergeant Dunaway? Yeah. I'm really, let's start all over again and let's just be calm and cordial. I'm not trying to give you a hard time, okay? I'm just asking what your motive is. And I told you, as long as you acknowledge that I have a legal right to be here and I have a constitutionally protected right to be here, I will in great detail tell you exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't want to hear it. If you're going to violate my rights, then I'm going to plead the fifth and I'm not going to... All right, well, then I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing here. That's fine. And I'm gonna, if you make me leave and you violate my rights, you're going to be sorry you did that. So I'm just suggesting that you contact the lieutenant, your chief, or your district attorney, whoever you want to speak to, because you're making a mistake. I am absolutely within my rights. That's fine. Both legally, federally, state law, every law that there is on the books. I am not violating one law. Nor have I, nor do I intend to. And that's a fact. And you're a law enforcement officer. You're not a feelings you know enforcement what? officer. I don't. I don't. I don't want to hear you anymore. Okay. Why you don't like the truth? No, just be quiet. Well, you can't okay. tell me to be quiet. Let's I have. I can say out. whatever I want to say. Okay. You can figure. You should figure it out before you tell me you're gonna make me leave. Would be a good idea. And I just told you I wanted to start all over again, cordial and calm. I'm trying to be as respectful as I can. I'm calling you Sergeant Dunaway. I'm being very respectful to you. I'm being very cordial. I am not being disrespectful to no, you. No, you're not. You're not. But I, and, and you know what? I'll give you a little clue as to why I'm here. The purpose of why I'm here is to expose this. Okay. Okay? So be care just be careful how you proceed. That's, That's all. Fine. Just because somebody that works here doesn't want to be on camera does not give them the right to violate my rights and break the law. It's not how it works. Well, yeah, what I was trying to say is you're not a feelings enforcement officer, you're a law enforcement officer. You're here to enforce the law, and I have not violated the law. Correct. Fifty years old, I've never violated the law in my life. Never. Never been in handcuffs in my life, never been charged with a crime in my life. Okay, so I talked to the um, one of the employees here. Okay. They actually gave me the contact information for like the media liaison from the post office. Okay. So when it, when it comes to the filming, they're willing to work with you if you leave their con your contact information here. Uh, the postmaster for this location is going to give you a call. It's basically, here's but, the thing. But they don't you want to film on postal property unless sure you have permission. No, you're absolutely from the postal you're, sir. But they don't want. Due, they don't want, due, want, want you here respect, right now. I promise you. Okay, if your district attorney's office was open today, we could call them and find out. You are absolutely 100% wrong, I promise you. Okay. I promise you, and I understand that you believe that. DHS put out a memo, okay? It was a memo from 2010, which was unredacted in 2018, which gives me the right to film on all federal property, inside and outside, in publicly accessible areas. Okay. As long as I don't go into a restricted area. 
So I'm telling only, you what, what information we're doing right now. I would just check so. with somebody higher up because if you guys that's violate my right rights, now. the town of Silverthorne is going to be on the hook for a huge right. bill, and I don't yeah. want to do that. And that's what we're doing right now. So it's I, not, I appreciate and you, your concern. No, and you got no, no. But seriously, don't just appreciate my concern. Guys that are looking for a lawsuit wouldn't tell you that. Okay, I don't want to sue Silverthorne. I don't want to sue. I, also, I just told the sergeant I'm 50 years old, never been arrested in my life. You look good I've, for 50, dude. I've also thank you. I've also never sued anybody in my life, okay. and I'm not looking to start. I appreciate okay. That. That's all we're doing, taking a little film. It's a constitutionally protected activity, and it's also documented case law. So yeah, I'm just telling you, you guys want to look it up before you make a decision. And I'm glad you're looking into it. Is I appreciate he, that. Is he a friend of yours, your son? Is he a friend of mine? Or what? son? Or Why? I was just wondering, I mean, how do you so guys end up together? A little bit of an age gap. Yeah, a little bit of an age gap. It's just curious. It's just fun, right? A little bit of an age gap? There's 34 years of an age gap. That's how old he was when he was, that's how old I was when he was born. Yeah? Yeah. How do you guys know each other? That's a lot of personal questions, but I'm going to answer it only because you're going through the motions of looking into what you got going hey. on here. Yeah. He's my son. Okay. Nice to meet you. And nice I'm, to meet you. I'm not a dishonest person. What I told you was is I'm traveling through Silverthorne. Yep. Okay. I came in to buy a stamp documenting our trip, sure. and that's what we're doing. So I basically have told you what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. We appreciate that. Yeah. And that's all. And I'm not trying to give you a hard time as far as you saying that we're not allowed to photograph or take video on federal property. Mm -hmm. Lawsuits of that type get extremely expensive well, I know. for municipalities. Okay? And you don't want to put your municipality in that situation. And I am promising you right now, 1,000%, okay, that what you said in that statement was absolutely 100% wrong. Okay. Okay. So just look into that because well, you're a young officer and you're going you're gonna to have a going beautiful career ahead of you. What the Postal Master said and I actually have contacts with the Postal Inspector <laughs> Service and I've dealt with them. Well, none of them told you I couldn't film, film in here. That's, that conversation never happened. We've talked about that in the past. That's They've never told you I can't film inside of the post office. I can guarantee you that. Okay. You can and sit here and try to argue with me about a conversation that I Whoever told you that had no authority to well, tell you that okay. because they don't know what they're talking about. I figure it's postal inspectors, they probably do. But. The postal inspector would have authority to tell you what the law is, but if there is a possibility that he might be misinformed. That could be. Yeah. I was inside when I was there, so my address was set there, and I don't. I, I have a problem with that. Uh, um, <laughs> I don't want my address on. Okay, so the way that works is there is no expectation of privacy in public. You're in this is, you're not in public. Can, 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 can we meet you outside? That's the way it works. Yeah, we'll yeah I don't know. Okay. I mean, for privacy we'll talk to you. Uh, there is no privacy in public, sir. Can I get to my box? Yeah, absolutely. Can you let her in so she can get to Where's your box? Am I blocking? Oh, Thank I'm sorry. You. Yeah, sure. No problem. Maybe. Thanks. Yeah, no, and there is no expectation of privacy in public. You know, I... There we know that, especially in the state of Colorado. It's a one-party report. Anywhere. You go talk to him. Yeah, thanks. I tend to leave my private affairs at home. When I go out in public, I don't do things that I... Consider private. Yeah. No, I, right? that's a good practice, especially nowadays where everything is. Well, it's not only is it a good practice, it's also the law, federal and state. Well, you're allowed to share information, but sometimes it's better not to, right? There is no expectation of privacy yeah, in public, and you know that. That's what I'm saying. Right. So it's like. So the onus. We're all 10 for every 15. Like to give you an example, this gentleman, the onus is on him to keep his information private. It's not on me to secure his privacy. It's not even your responsibility to secure his privacy. It's his responsibility. A firm. So that's all it is. Sure. And you know what? I'll tell you, I'll take it a little bit further for you. Um, I am a huge supporter of the Constitution of the United States of America, and our rights are being eroded daily in this country. Okay? Sure. So rights are like muscles. And if you don't exercise them, they go away. So I'm not exercising my rights. That's what we're doing. That's all it is. Okay. And I am extremely well versed in the law. I don't break the law. I wouldn't do anything to put myself in handcuffs. And if, if for you to handcuff me or arrest me or detain me or any of that stuff, you would have to violate my rights to make that happen because I'm not going to give you that. Well, I'm confused. What are you talking about? If you decided to handcuff me, detain me, arrest me, charge me, any of those things, you would be in violation of my rights because I would not do something to give you the authority to be able to do that. Sure. That's fine. Yeah. Um. And I want you to understand, the reason that we're here is I want you to walk away from this having a better education on what the rules are in public, on federal property. Sure. And I want to walk away having learned something and educated myself as well. So if we all walk away from this situation with a better education, a better understanding of each other, and a better 
understanding of how the law works and how the Constitution works, I call that a good day. Yeah, I agree. That's all we can it all is. get educated, that's awesome. That's all it is. Yeah, myself included. My son's getting a wonderful education. He's 16 years old and he's uh, learning the ropes, you know? You guys came up from Denver, you said? We did come up from Denver. Yeah. All right. Yeah. How long have you been in Colorado? Well, these are a lot of questions. Let's see what the sergeant Here's kind of the deal. Okay. They don't want you here. I understand that. We're trespassing you on the behalf of... You're going to trespass me? The post I office. want you to speak to your lieutenant before you do that. Okay. You're, I'm, I'm going to file a lawsuit against you if you trespass me. I That's promise fine. you. That's fine. That's fine. And I'm going to name you personally. And you're going to lose your qualified immunity because you're violating my rights. That's Are you fine. sure? You're going to pay they, for this personally. That's fine. You really think it's fine? I'm going to sue you. The post office does not want you in here. Okay, you can but, film out there. Right. But do you understand cool. you're going to lose your qualified immunity? If you're telling me you're trespassing me, I will follow any they lawful order you give me. They don't okay? want you on their property. That's not their decision to make. And you don't understand that's that. And you're, you're, you're making a big mistake for your municipality. You really are. You're going to cost them dearly. Go ahead, please. So you're telling me I'm trespassed? Please leave. Yes, please. Are you going to officially trespass me or yes. you just ask me to leave? This is what we told you. There, no, there if you're asking me to leave, I refuse. If you're going to trespass me, I'll walk outside and I want a notification of trespass. I want to be formally trespassed if that's what you're doing. Otherwise, I'm not leaving. What you have it on? You have it on video. No, that's not good enough. You can formally okay. trespass me or leave me alone. That's your options. We're asking you to leave. And I respectfully decline unless you're going to formally trespass me. If you're going to formally trespass me, I will happily leave immediately. They want you. They want. We're going to go around in circles in this conversation forever. If you're going to formally trespass me, I will walk out the door immediately. Okay. If you're not going to formally trespass me, I am not leaving. I'm going to go buy my stamp. I have business to conduct here, and you're preventing me from doing that. I don't think they're going to sell you a stamp. Well, then they're denying me service, and that'll be another lawsuit. Well, I don't know their laws. I know you don't. Federal. I know you don't know their laws, man. Okay. Believe me, you've proven that in the last five minutes. So but do you want to formally trust me? you on their property. I'm going to say this one more time, and then I'm going to walk past okay. you, and I'm going to go buy my stamp. If you are going to formally trespass me legally Second. from this property, I will leave immediately. Hello? If you're not, I'm going to go buy my stamp. Does that make sense? Okay. I'm not going to just leave because you're requesting what you're saying, to. My sergeant's saying something else, and She's I follow my sergeant, right? Well, so that's where we're at. I get what you're saying. No, but what she did was request that I leave. That's a request. It's not a lawful order. Understand. Are you giving me a lawful order to leave? I can't read her mind. I don't know exactly what she's okay, saying. Okay, so we'll stand, here, we'll stand here and wait until it gets cleared up then. And I think you're a very reasonable person. Okay, thank you. And I understand that you're just following your sergeant's orders, and one day you will be a sergeant. I'm sure you will. And this is... Do you I want need to, to get to your box, ma'am? No, no. That way. Okay, okay you're fine. Sure. Okay. And I want you to remember this, because you're going to be in charge of people one day. You're going to make. You're going to be a sergeant. You're probably going to be a lieutenant one day, because you have a very level head on your shoulders, and you're a very professional, well-demeanored, cordial individual. I appreciate so you'll go. No, you'll go far with that. But in the meanwhile, here we are. Okay. So, and I told you, I'm, I know my rights. We got time, right? So we can we can we can work on it. If that. you want to ask me about DWI laws and speeding laws and that kind of thing, I have no idea what I'm talking about. You ask me about this stuff, I can I know better than your district attorney does. Here's my business card, you can sue me. Okay. I'm not gonna sue you unless you form the trespass. I know, I'm respectfully declining unless I'm okay. being formally trespassed. If you formally trespass me, I will leave immediately. Well, here's the other thing. 15 minutes, it closes in. Nice looking stand here. So you're not going to formally trespass me? So I'm going to go buy my stand? No. So if, I'm, if I'm not trespassed? You can't film it. Am I free to go? Am I, man, yeah, am I free? We want you to go. not want you back in the Am I free to leave? The building, yes. I, I'm asking, am I free to leave? The building, yes. So if I'm free to leave, I'm free to stay. So I'm going to go buy my stamps. They do not want you in that office. That's not their call. Yeah, it, it is. Well, then formally trespass me and I'll leave. You can't have it both ways. That's not the way it works. I'm sorry. I'm not refusing to leave, but you're not trespassing me. They're, they're not going to serve you. That's not up to them, it's up to you. You need to get them to sign a trespass gonna, order and try to give you... It's not up to me, okay? They, they're they asking me to tell Sir, you can to you leave. Let her in? Yeah, absolutely, I'll even hold the door for you, man. Thank you. Yep. So I'm just, listen, I'm gonna say one last time just so we're all clear and it's on the record. I am not refusing to leave. I will walk out the door immediately and never come back if I am formally trespassed. If I am not formally trespassed, I'm gonna go buy my stamp. So what do we do? 
Go ahead, they're not going to serve you. Okay, I'll wait in line and see, and then you can, they can deny service. So this is for express mail service, right? This is a, in a primary box. It's out of no way. I'll give you my the way, you know what? You know what? Your formally trespass go. I want it. I want no. it in writing. Yeah. We'll, we'll write it down. You're gonna give it to me in writing? We'll write it down. Okay. Sure. All right. If that's what you're doing. And you're not gonna buy time for 15 minutes until they close the door and not formally trespass me. I'm giving you three no. minutes to start the paperwork, and I'm coming back in. All right. And the time starts now. Right, not, what you're doing, you're violating my rights so and your right to I do need your ID if I'm going to write it down. You don't need my ID. Yes, I do. I'll I need to know who you no, are. No, I'll give you my name. You don't need my ID. Can I need your name and date of birth? I do need those things. No, you don't. Go. Thing is, no, it's not the thing is. No, you guys have violated my rights at this point. I want my trespass order. I'm just letting you know how the system 12, works. Listen, I know how the system works better than you do. You're getting an education from me today. We have 12 minutes for me to buy my stamp. So you either trespass me in writing now, or I'm going back in. That's it. Let's stop playing games. You trespassed. So you're not going to write me a formal trespass. I need your name. You just lied to me. Date of birth. I'm not lying to you. Give us your name well, and date of birth. Four. That's how You don't works. need my name and date of yes, birth for a trespass. For a no, trespass. you don't. You guys don't know the law. Okay. Okay, you really don't. I'm sorry. That's okay. Don't well, you just told me I couldn't film in there and I can. That's your opinion. Well, I'm going to go back then. No, you're not. No, you're not, dude. Well, then trespass me. You are trespass. That's not a trespass. You're asking me to leave. And when you ask somebody, they have we the right to say yes or no. We don't have a trespass form for you. Sure you do. No, I don't. Sure you do. I want a lieutenant. I want to hire up here. She is the higher up. I'm going to call 911 call and tell them that my rights are being violated. Well, actually, call the sheriff's department. We'll get the sheriff down here and they'll straighten you out. You guys have no idea what you're talking about. And I want your business card because you're going to be sued. I already gave it to you. Did you give it to me? No. I already gave it to you. You gave me your business card? I gave it to you. Well, give me another one because I don't know what I did with it. And I'll take yours too, please. And I'd like a business card from you as well. That's state law in case you don't know, so you can give me a business card. Okay. okay. I have mine in the car. Well, go grab one. Okay. You have to give it to me upon demand immediately, so go grab the car. You guys just opened up a Card, you just, no, you have to give me a business card. That's, that's not true. State law says you have to give me your business card. Right, I'll Don't give you my it. business card. You guys just opened up a can of on yourselves. You really that's did. Fine. You have no idea who I am and what I do oh. and what I know. You're making a huge oh. mistake. No, you're going to be sorry. It's going to cost you your career, oh. man. You have no idea what you just did. Oh. Okay. And you still have a chance to fix it. You still have a chance to call one of your hires up and, and just verify what you're doing. But you're going to make such a mistake for this municipality. It's a shame. Okay. And you're going to be, it's going to, uh, you know what, you want to hang yourself, that's up to you. And that smirk will be gone from your face, too. You're going to be, pers you, you guys just lost your qualified immunity. You're going to pay for this personally. That's fine. No, it's not fine. There you go, sir. That's your ego talking. Thank you. Okay. Unfortunately, you're included in this too. You all just lost your qualified immunity. You're going to be personally sued for violating my rights. So prepare yourselves. Unless you want to do something to fix it now. I'm not leaving. I, I came outside. I don't have to leave. Why do I have to leave? Because I'm at a trouble. You're asking trespass. me, right? You're asking me. Just like you. you asked me. No, you didn't. Okay. You didn't trespass me. You think you did. What you did was bully me out the door. Let's be real about what you just did. And you're making a huge all. mistake. You don't know the law. You don't that's know what fine. you're doing. That's fine. And you're setting a horrible example for your that, charges that's here. That's fine. Yeah. No, it's not fine. Okay. It's really not fine. Did you call this sheriff? Call the sheriff. No. I'm not going anywhere. I'm waiting for a sheriff. No. What you county is this? One. Summit? You don't have to call. Is this Summit County? Yeah, no, request, the, request the sheriff for me then. Go ahead. Okay. Right. The sheriff will come here and tell you how wrong you are. And now you've prevented me from buying my stamp because I only have however many minutes left. Now I can't. So you're just digging yourself deeper. 
Yeah, it's been about 15 minute wait where he's coming from. But yeah, he's I got it. all day, man. I can oh. wait all day. You guys just made a huge mistake. And if you had a half a brain in your head, you'd go make a phone call and verify what I'm telling you. I'm not here to jerk off and I'm not here to play games with you. I know what I'm talking about and you're wrong. You know what your qualified immunity is, right? You understand that concept? And you understand that when you violate somebody's rights, you lose it? And you're going to be personally liable for this? Does that make any difference to you? You really don't? You have that much faith in that woman's knowledge that you're really going to believe that? Yeah, you're going to risk your... Really? So you just take people's word for it without checking? Why don't you go sit in your car and check the law? Why don't you go check the law? Why don't you make some phone calls and really talk to somebody who knows what they're talking about? Is your district attorney available today? Your DA would tell you instantly what's happening. The sheriff's going to show up and tell you you're wrong. But by that time, this place is going to be closed and you violated my rights. You made a massive mistake. I'm sorry. I'm going to be spending a lot of time in Silver Park. It's a nice town. Eh, I don't know. We'll see how it looks on the inside of the courthouse. shame and when you think about it at the end of the day all I was doing was go in there buy a stamp and I was leaving so all this for a stamp egos and a stamp that's what the title of this video should be see your smirk is what proves me right he's a nice guy he's sitting there and he's wondering if I'm right he's not sure your smirk just celebrates your ignorance it doesn't do you any good you'll never be sergeant you're not going anywhere. It's the truth. You know I'm right, but you're 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 in a you're in a position. You're I mean, in a bad I'm position. Trying to, it is a it is a position, sir. I understand your. I position. understand you want to come in here and you want to get stamped, right? I want to follow the law and I want to I, and I want to do a constitutionally Dude, protected do activity. That's I all do it too. is. But my, my thing if is, you were the sergeant, we wouldn't be my doing My thing this. is, I usually buy stamps without bringing a camera. Well, I usually walk around without a badge and a gun on. Yeah. So, I, I, I mean, get, people do different things. So it's things. new things, right? And so no. That's what we're trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out your, your, the, the thing you're doing. All right, Most so then why don't. not? Right, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. So then why not be cordial? You were cordial. But why, not, why wouldn't your sergeant be cordial with me and say, okay, you know what? Tell me your side of it. Let's hear what you have to say. Let's, let me let me verify what you're telling me. Let me look into the legality of what you're telling me. Let me look into the constitutionality of what you're telling me. Right. She doesn't even want to hear it. All her words are is, I don't want to hear a word out of your mouth. Don't tell me anything. Well, I'm talking to you right now. Okay. I'm trying to have a, the discussion. Oh, right? I told you inside. I, th I, I don't think I've ever praised a police officer as much as I did you just 10 minutes ago. Right. I understand your predicament. I said it before you said it. Okay. You don't agree with her and you don't agree okay. with me. You're not sure where it is. And I understand. We're working it out right now. What I do know is that the post office employees don't want you in there. That's not their choice. The camera part, you know. That's not their choice. It the is. only way you can trespass somebody from public property is if they create a disturbance or violate the law. I didn't either. They claimed that you threatened an employee. They claimed I threatened an employee? That's what the lady told me. Really? Which? Who told you that? Because I, I started filming before I got here and it's been running ever since. So that's a lie. So now somebody just filed a false police report. I'm telling you this is going to turn into a mess for you. Who, which employee said I threatened them? I don't Can I help you, sir? That's not true anyway, because if that was the case, you would arrest me for threatening somebody. Oh, gotcha. I, I was wondering if you weren't able to get in. No, 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 no. I was, I was there. Curiosity killed the cat. It's a beautiful day. So anyway, which employee was this? The employee that I was standing to at talking at the door. I don't know her name. The female with the short hair? said that I threatened her? Didn't She did, didn't say you threatened her. That's what you she just said. said. an employee. I threatened an employee. That's what she told me. I bet you guys are wishing you could like just leave, come back and start this all over again at this point. No. Yeah. As a sergeant, your skills at de-escalation and handling the situation and setting an example for these two young gentlemen should be far superior to what they are. Okay. Well, You're failing at your job that's, today. That's can, your opinion. can you get no, stamps at like the grocery store? I don't know. It's a good question. I think you can. Maybe. I think you can. It'd just be easier, man. But but I told you what my point is. I do this deliberately. I told you what I'm doing. But and, 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 I'm, trying, I'm trying to work with you, and I'm just asking. Okay. I, I know where you're coming from. Okay. I get it. You, you said you're you, you're a big believer in the Constitution. Yep. But right now, for the purposes of just resolving this situation, okay, if we could get some stamps, the 
post office. It's not about getting, uh, it's not about getting stamps. Okay. You're not understanding where I'm coming from. It's not about getting stamps. It's about your job is to enforce the law, correct? That's what you are. You're a law enforcement officer, right? You're not a feelings enforcement officer. So if somebody feels like they don't want to be on camera, it's not your job to enforce that. It's your job to enforce it when I hit them over the head with the camera, not when I film them in a public place. There's a fine line between. No, there's no fine line. It's been. There's state. The, the Supreme Court of the United States has ruled on this, and there's you case can, law. I'm not going to give it to you. Area. You can film in the foyer. I can film it anywhere in this post office. I don't I want. think you can film in the office. Ma'am, we can. That's what the, what the problem. Ma'am, did you tell somebody that I threatened an employee? You were threatening to sue. Threatening to sue. Correct. And telling and telling you I did not want to. That's not a threat. That's not the same thing. So do you see how words can get misconstrued? So She's it, talking about threatening to sue. So if you came out and said that I threatened. about this like oh, over yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if, the, if there's a rule in there. Well, the only problem with time is they're going to close in two minutes and I can't buy my stamp. Well, 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 but then you can go to the grocery store. You just said it wasn't stamp, about the stamp. Stamp's not the issue. So stamp's what not the issue. So the issue is my constitutional rights. Why can't rights? we slow it down? Okay? I'm here defending your rights. You, you, you talked about educating, right? Yes. You talked about educating how, you know, part of our role as police officers sometimes is to educate the public. Yes. But if there is something in there, I, I'm not, I don't work at the post office. I don't know every rule that goes on there. I that do. doesn't, I understand. Okay. But I'd like to learn, all right? I'd like to get to know it. Okay. And, and, Good. and resolve it. Okay. So is there a reason why all this has to be done So now? since you said that, every question you ask me from now on concerning what I'm doing here, I'm going to answer in great detail and be totally honest with you. So go ahead. Well, what, what is your understanding of the law? that allows you to, I'll tell to you. film in there when I'm getting contradictory information. In That's 2010, what I'm trying to the difference. In 2010, the Department of Homeland Security put out a bulletin, uh -huh. okay, advising law enforcement that filming exteriors and interiors of federally owned leased property, I should say, because the federal government doesn't own any property outside of Washington, D.C., okay? Photographing or videotaping those properties inside or outside in publicly accessible areas is perfectly legal. DHS put out a memo saying that in 2010, okay? In 2018, they unredacted that same memo and reissued it. And I have a copy of that memo in my car. So that's Why'd from they the- they redact it in the first place? They unredacted it, I'm sorry. They removed the redactions and reissued the, with its unredacted, in its unredacted form in 2018. What did they do? Why did they redact it in the first place? Why does the government redact anything? I don't know. They, you, you request Public Information Act stuff and half of it's all blacked out. I don't know. I don't know what that, you know, you don't know what that is. But, so, DHS, if you check with them and you call Federal Home, uh, Homeland Security or Federal Police will tell you what I'm telling you is the truth, okay? Post office policy allows me to film inside the post office as long as I don't go into a restricted area. That's what it says on the sign, okay? Being that I am filming, this video is going to be seen by many, many, many thousands of people. Okay, I have one video up that has over three million views. Dude, that's some money. Well, I've gotten my, my channel. It's not about money. My channel's gotten 20 million views in the past 11 months. Okay. okay, so I get some views and I know what I'm talking about and I know what I'm doing. Okay, so what I'm telling you is, is I'm allowed to be here. I'm allowed to videotape inside and outside of the property as long as I go, don't go into any <laughs> restricted areas. Okay. And that has been upheld by the Supreme Court. It's been upheld by DHS. I have the memo in my car. I'm not making things up, okay? And it's also uh, state law. Doesn't There is no state law that says that I cannot film inside of a post office. It doesn't exist. There's no such thing. So you're trying to enforce a law that doesn't exist. And at the end of the day, the reality of the situation is, is you don't even have jurisdiction inside this building. You have zero jurisdiction here because you're not a federal police officer. That's where I'm supposed to drop the mic, but I, I don't have one. You really got to look into what you're doing. Seriously, because it's not a joke. I, I'm not, I'm not the Constitution of the United States, joke. you know, men and women go overseas and die every day for a Constitution of the United States to give me the right to do what I do. Of it's not a I joke. Do. Sergeant Piper. Sergeant Piper, can I just get a badge number or an yep. ID number? 13. 13, okay. So Sergeant Piper, the reason I requested your presence here today, and I'm sorry to take you away from anything else you were doing that was probably far more important than this, is to just educate these folks and let them know 
that I am not violating a law and I am not violating a rule by photographing or taking pictures on post office property. That wasn't the reason yeah. that you were trespassed. Sure it is. What was the reason I was trespassed? That the lady told me that you were threatening their employee. No. Did you hear what she just said? She just came out and said that what she meant was I was threatening to sue. That's not what she told That's what she just said right in front of you. I can't. You both heard it. Ma'am, we can't. That's what the, what the problem Ma'am, did you tell somebody that I threatened an employee? You were threatening to sue. Threatening to sue. Correct. And telling, and telling you I did not want to. That's not a threat. That's not the same thing. So do you see how words can get misconstrued? She's talking about threatening to sue. Ma'am, I'm done speaking to you. I'm going to speak to the sheriff. That's Let, the possible. end of the day is okay. Was, and I'm sorry, what was your name, sir? I didn't give it. My name is Jason. I'll give you my first name, okay? okay? You're a constitutional police officer, correct? Yep. Sheriff. So it's your obligation to uphold the Constitution of the United States, correct? Right, but okay. I'm going to tell you that it's their jurisdiction. This it's is not their jurisdiction. Yep, yes, this is. is the jurisdiction of federal police. This is federal no, property. This not is not their jurisdiction. Nope, right here is the jurisdiction of the Silverthorne Police Department. Okay, and you're a county sheriff. You're right. Right. Yep. Yep. And we're going to divert to their jurisdiction. So you're going to divert to their jurisdiction? Mm -hmm. And you're going to allow them to violate my rights? I don't believe they're violating your rights, sir. Okay. So I need a business card from you. You got it. You'll be named on the lawsuit as well. Okay. Okay. And just so you know, as I told them, you're violating my constitutional rights, so you're going to lose your qualified immunity. And this is going to come out of your pocket. I'm sorry you chose to do that. Do you want to call somebody higher up, maybe get some advice before you nope. go through with this? Nope. You sure? I'm positive. You yep. guys are all going to have sad faces when we record. Okay. Yeah, so. Did, was there any other? I, I, you and I were having a very intelligent conversation. I told you I'd answer your questions. So, do you have any further questions for me? I mean, I'm going to look into it on my own for sure. And then you're going to do one of those if because you you're going to realize I was right. If you give me your phone number or something, I can. Call you at a later time. We can talk about it, but they don't want you in the building today. Yeah, but that's not their choice. Oh. You don't understand that. That's not their choice. That is not their choice. They don't have the right. That's like if I walk into so a. You're I'm me, in the middle of a sentence. Let me. Let, let me. Ahead. Let me understand. I'll this. So if a federal employee of the post office, they do not have the right to refuse service to anybody. Is that what you're telling me? They only have the right, that's correct. They only have the right to refuse <laughs> service for a lawful reason. This is a publicly owned building. This is not a private business, it's different. If I go into Starbucks and one of the employees at Starbucks feels like they want me to leave, that's a private business. And if they ask me to leave, I have to right, leave. Right, I understand that. This is a publicly owned facility. My tax dollars pay for this building. Your tax dollars pay for this building. So I it's the same that. as if I'm sitting in the park reading a, a, a right-wing newspaper and a Democrat walks into the park and says, I don't like that newspaper, you gotta go. That's the same situation, you, or a county employee who's picking up trash in the, in the park says, I don't like that newspaper, you gotta leave, you can't read that here. I don't like, I'm an employee of the county, you can't be here. That's not the way the law works, ma'am, and you know that. Well, you're not a feelings police, you're a law enforcement even, officer. But what I'm, what I'm asking you is, what you're telling me is, when they asked you not to film, the employee said, then, she said it got escalated. No, it was the same thing I said to you. I said, I am 50 years old. I have never sued anybody in my life, and I don't want to sue anybody. Let me tell you. I'm not interested in suing anybody. But if somebody violates my rights, then I'm going to have to file a lawsuit. You're not giving me an option. But let me, let me finish here. Okay. She said that it escalated, and then you threatened an employee. That is not true. And that's when they said for you to leave. When she just came out here five minutes ago, which I don't know why you're pretending you didn't hear that, and I said to her, did you tell these officers that well, I'm I I'm telling you what she so told me. You don't me let me speak. Time. You asked me a question. Okay? Yeah. When I said to her, did you tell these officers that I threatened somebody? She said, yeah, you threatened to sue somebody. That's what she just said five minutes ago. Standing all here. I'm telling Your you other is, officers heard that. I don't I'm know why you didn't. You is, that's not what she told me when I talked well, to Well, she lied to you. Okay. That's called filing a false police report. <coughs> that happens every day. We're lied to constantly. Of course you are. So why would you listen to the person that's lying to you instead of the person that's being honest with you and logical and telling you the truth? I follow the law. I don't break the law. 
Okay? You can look up my record. I have never been arrested or charged with a crime in well, 50 years. Well, I can't look up your record. Could well, you I'm telling you name? that. I'm telling you that. And I also told you I would tell you my details and tell you who I was if you didn't violate my rights. But since you're choosing to violate my rights, my lawyer's going to give you my name. Okay. And that's how you'll find out who I am. Okay. Okay? Which is unfortunate. Do you understand the concept, okay, that you people are law enforcement? You're not feelings enforcement? So if, that, if any employee of this place has a justifiable, lawful reason why I should not be in there, you come here and you enforce that. If they just don't feel like me being there today, I was there to buy a stamp. I'm standing in line with the money in my hand to buy a stamp. And I was told to leave because somebody didn't feel like having me there today. That's not the way the law works. And being that it's from a federally owned post office facility, which is public property, okay, now you violated my rights. Okay. Do you, do you at least understand what I'm saying? Does it make any sense to you at all? Or you just don't even agree with that? You just think because, what if I walked in with a shirt that said Hard Rock Cafe and one of these ladies don't like the Hard Rock Cafe? Oh, you can't be in here with that t-shirt? You can't be in here with that camera? You can't be in here with that? Well, whose who's idea is it? The thing that I don't understand is your motive. I told you my motive. You want to know what my motive is? I have 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. My channel gets 75,000 views a day, okay? And what I do is I go out and defend my constitutional rights for you, 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 and all of us. For every one of the customers and every one of the employees in there. I put myself in harm's way, risk of being arrested, ri illegally arrested, risk of, be risk of being unlawfully detained, okay? All in the name of defending the Constitution of the United States. That's what I do and that's the reason that I do it. And that's why going to the supermarket to buy a stamp isn't going to solve my problem. Isn't there a better way to get your point across? If you could tell me a better way, I'd be happy to hear it. I think what I just did today was educate four police officers. Because you're not going to make the same mistake again. I can guarantee you that. I thought you got arrested for harassment. I don't remember where. I think I did see one of your videos. You think I got arrested for harassment? I thought you did. I will. What well, right? were talking about doing it? Really? Well, I'll make you a deal. I'll make you a deal, okay? I'll bet you $1,000 that's not true. And if you want to take the bet, I'll give you my name, all my information right now, and you can check and see if I've ever been arrested. I'm just saying what I think I remember from a YouTube video I saw. I have never, morning. look me in the eye, with your sunglasses on, off, whatever you want. I have never been arrested. I have never been charged with a crime. Okay. And you're not going to start today. Okay. Comprende? Yeah. So stop making things up. All right, sir. Have a nice day. I'm having a great day. Okay. All have right, you have a nice day. Thank you. Yep, so what'd you do? Wait till 12 when they lock the doors? Did you get all your info you needed? Your wife's waiting for you. Wait. You'd like that, wouldn't you? <clears throat> Alright, so we have Silver Thor Police Vehicle 263. We have an unmarked Sheriff's Vehicle, like it's great, VXO058. Which will, now your unmarked sheriff's vehicle will be all over the internet too. Silver Thorn Police 262. And we have Silver Thorn Police 260. Alright, so these folks here in Silver Thorn have decided to violate our rights. So, this is the one, guys. I mean, you know how I usually roll, but we're actually going to file on this one. Um, I'm going to get in contact with my attorney. Um, and we're going to file a lawsuit against Silverthorn for violation of rights. Alright guys, you saw how that went. Blatant violation of our rights by the three police officers and the sheriff. a nice guy, he pretends to be. Then I didn't give him my info.
Well, all right, guys. Um, we are definitely going to be filing a lawsuit against Sunday Point, Colorado for this uh, violation of rights here. No point in uh, fighting these battles on the street with these police officers. They don't know the law. They have no jurisdiction to make any decisions, and nothing's going to change that. So we stood up for ourselves to the point that we could, and uh, we'll handle it in court from here on in. So. Last but not forgotten. Well, all right, guys. Well, that's going to be about so it for this how, one. Uh, that's how they roll so it, uh, how it goes here in Silverthorne, Colorado. Um, clear violation of rights. Like I said, uh, blatant violation of our rights. They don't know the laws and they don't care. And uh, just want to bully us out of the post office. So, let us know what you think in the comments and uh, feel free to contact the Silver Thorn Police Department, uh, Summit County Sheriff's Office, or the uh, Silver, Thorn, Silver Thorn Post Office. I'll uh, leave contact information for those in the description. Make sure you res remain respectful and cordial if you choose to contact anyone you see in this video. And uh, that's about it for this one. If you like this video and what we do, Make sure you subscribe to my channel and Amagansett Press's channel on YouTube. And if you want to be notified a day ahead when I'm posting a new video, follow my Instagram, at Watching the Watchman, and my Twitter, at Watchman1A. Hello, guys. So, coming to you from Silverthorne, Colorado, at the U.S. Postal Service, Watching the Watchman, at with Amagansett Press, out. See you in the next one, guys.